Hare Krishna. The revelation of the revelation comes from the living tradition. The revelation refers to the primeval message that God gives for the illumination of humanity. In the Bhagavad Gita, Krishna states in the fourth chapter, first verse, Imam vivasvate yogam proktavan aham avyayam vivasvan manave praha manurikshvaka ve bravid. So, Imam vivasvate yogam, that he says this, in this way, I gave the knowledge at the beginning of creation to the sun god. Aham avyayam. So, this the sun is the illuminator of the world and Krishna says that he illuminated the illuminator of the world. And in that way, the knowledge came down in a succession, in a royal succession. Now, Krishna later says that Sakalene hamhata yogo nashtaha parantapa But by the power of time, that was destroyed. <coughs> this is 4.2. And in 4.3 he says, Sa evayam maya tedya yoga prokta puratana bhakto sime sakha cheti rahasyam he tadutamam. So sa evayam maya tedya. That same knowledge now I am giving to you, Arjuna. Yoga prokta puratana bhakto sime sakha cheti. You are a devotee, you are my friend, and thus you can understand the secret. So revelation is meant to guide us, is meant for our illumination through the often confusing and perplexing journey of life. But because as the times change, people's conceptions change, people's background changes and therefore when people study scripture also with their particular cultural context and their background, then often the revelation doesn't necessarily illuminate. The people don't get the revelation, they don't understand it. And that's why we need not just a primeval revelation, but we also need a living tradition connected with the primeval revelation. And only when we are connected with the living tradition of spiritual seers and seekers who are all connected with the primeval tradition, then with such a living tradition, we can actually understand the relevance of revelation. So, uh, revelation becomes revealed in our heart through the guidance of the living tradition. When we study books written by, not just uh, uh, in the past by the great sages, but by those who are in our generation, those who uh, know how our thought processes work and who can present timeless wisdom in timely ways according to our thought processes so they can make that wisdom uh, intelligible to us <coughs> and thus otherwise there are different misconceptions that different people can get based on their own cultural conceptions and thus revelation can get lost so Krishna himself when he sees that such a living tradition is lost he comes and revives the tradition and he revived that by giving that knowledge to Arjuna. And we all, when we study scripture, if our study of scripture is disconnected or isolated from our study of the greater tradition, uh, from our connection with the living tradition, then that scripture study will seem at best theoretical and abstract. And it can also seem confusing and uh, alienating at worst. So therefore, we need to know that revelation is not a one-time event that happened long, long time ago. Yes, it did happen at that time. But revelation is an ongoing process that happens within our heart when the relevance of the ancient revelation becomes revealed to us by our <coughs> associating with and learning from those to whom that revelation, that revelation of revelation's relevance has occurred in their heart. And thus we can now become guided, uh, we can get guidance to move onwards in our life journey towards perfection, towards Krishna. By Krishna's words as understood and explained through his present contemporary representatives. Thank you. Hare Krishna.